and welcome to December 6th or day 6 of my not so everyday vlogmas. I've been vlogging every day, I just haven't got round to putting it up yet. So today I handed in my week long take home exam. Finally, um, I think I finished on just under 3,500 words. So that's at least one thing off the to-do list. I also have a exam next Thursday which is the 12th of December which is our election day in the UK which will be great fun. <laughs> if you don't know UK politics, a bit mad at the moment. But yes, anyway today is Friday. I finished my exam. It is just before six o'clock I think. Uh, one minute to six o'clock um, and I am going into town to see Emma who you know and some other people to go to our Christmas market in our town um, so that will be really really nice just a kind of like last minute socialization so I've made myself look a little more alive and um, which is saying something considering how dead I looked all week I also have my Christmas hat on. I got out of my um, attic, so I got my Christmas hat on. I've got uh, my my Hufflepuff jumper. This is just from Primark, actually. It's really nice and warm. Um, and my big tartan scarf. Um, so I'm gonna head out. You will see me in just a tick in the Christmas markets, hopefully. <laughs> syrup limbs but sweet. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Emma made me get a plum spiced cider. Rona made you get it. Okay, Rona and Emma. I said we should get them. Rona yeah. was the one I that was forceful. <laughs> it was very good. 10 out of 10 would drink again. <laughs> Thanks Rona. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. Thanks, yeah, thanks Cara. <laughs>
was expected to him. You also get these at um, Halloween Horror Night at um, Universal Studios. Just bringing that Florida back to us now. Good? Very good. Do you want to try a little bit? bit. I'll try a bit. Do you want to try a bit? Sure. They're very oily because they've been in the fryer, but they're good. Look at this vegan food. We've got vegan food at the Christmas market. This is the first year they've done vegan food. Yes. No good. Tiny bit hard to suppose. Christmas markets uh, I spent a lot of money on on food and drink I had plum plum mold cider um, from Recordlick which was really nice and um, if you ever get a chance to try any plum mold cider definitely recommend it was like a, like a sweet taste 
they also had an entirely vegan stall um, of food which was amazing because they've got loads and loads of food stalls and they never really have that great veggie options never mind vegan options so there was an entire vegan stall I'll leave all the information below um, but that was the first time that they've ever been at the Edinburgh Christmas markets and if you are going they're not on the main section like um, opposite Princess Street they're on the further section so you have to kind of like cross over the train line so it's called like the south side of the Christmas markets it was down there and um, which was also quite nice and quiet because obviously not many people know to go across there and um, so if you're looking for vegan food at the Edinburgh Christmas markets this year go there they were fantastic the food was amazing it was seven pounds fifty for the amount of food that you saw that I got so it was like vegan haggis potatoes and um, mac and cheese there was like crispy onions, there was loads of cranberry sauce, it was absolutely fantastic and the people who were working on it were also lovely. So yes, still sad that there's only one vegan place compared to the numerous amount of non-vegan places. I am not actually vegan myself, um, I try and eat as much vegan as possible. I don't like red meat, I never really have anyway, um, so I try and reduce as much so you know I buy like soya milk if I'm ever buying milk which is already unusual in itself or eat vegan where I can and where I have an option to and I really enjoy trying vegan foods as well it's really exciting to me to try vegan stuff that's a little bit different so yes enough about veganism that's a whole video in itself and then the other thing I bought is a Christmas decoration for a tree that I don't have yet I don't have a tree yet but I've got Christmas decorations for it Arlo, can you can you guess what the Christmas decoration is? Can you can you can you guess what it is from the packaging? Huh? Look how cute it is! It's a little Triceratops. I couldn't not buy it. This is probably the most expensive Christmas decoration I will ever have. Please don't need the string, Arlo, or the Triceratops. It's made of glass, so it's very delicate, but it's so cute. I think I have another um, Triceratops that I bought from Tiger last year as well, but this one is like multicolored. He's got like blue splodges on his back. He's got little blue spikes. He's just so cute. Like I said, probably the most overpriced and expensive Christmas decoration. You're not fighting the Triceratops, you're not gonna win. Well, you might win against this one, considering it's made of glass. I can't wait to get a tree and put all my decorations on my tree. I have so many amazing Christmas decorations that I need to put on my tree. And this is definitely gonna take pride of place. I know it's not meant to look like this, but it looks like he's got pumpkins underneath him. How cute is that? I mean, I know it's not actually pumpkins, but it looks like pumpkins. It could be pumpkins. Bringing Halloween realness to my Triceratops Christmas tree. So yes, that is all that I bought. I only bought one thing from the Christmas markets because I'm planning to go again. So it was just kind of like popping along today um, as a spontaneous trip out the house I literally haven't left the house in like three days because of these exams so it was nice to just get out the house look and feel a little more human and do some actual human things anyway guys I hope you have enjoyed today's video of a mini Christmas market come market with me and see the one thing I bought have a fantastic day wherever you are and I will see you next time bye <laughs>